Number nine, happy Monday. A new study from relationship scientists shows more people than you think end up marrying their second choice. Huh? They had their hopes of marrying somebody else and living happily ever after with that person, but things didn't work out. Then they met someone else and it did work out. So maybe you were in a relationship or you loved someone from afar and then they... And that person, although wonderful, might not have been their original pick for a life partner. It could be you. You could be somebody's <laughs> second choice. Or maybe your partner was your second choice. Yeah. Huh. But there's no saying that the first choice would have worked out in the long run. Right. It could have right. ended up in more pain and suffering. Yeah. I was just so happy to find someone who could stand being in my presence on a consistent <laughs> basis. I snatched her up immediately. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, wait, didn't you say there's a whole show on this on Netflix? It's like you're giving people an, uh, people an ultimatum. Yes. Like if, what, if they don't propose I will never or understand this woman. <laughs> I know. She watches no TV. Me? She's seen nothing. Yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden she comes over and she watches the I biggest know. crap fest hey, on Netflix. Do you want to know Netflix. when it started when I started working here? And all of a sudden I'm getting trapped yeah. in yeah. these reality yes. trash shows. She was it's like, actually well, really interesting. <laughs> she was like, well, all my dreams are dashed now. I'm here. <laughs> I might as well just give but in. But yes, there's a new, yeah, there's a couples. They, one of them issues an ultimatum to the other one, and there's six couples, and in each couple, someone has been given an ultimatum, and they swap partners. Sure, they will find out yeah. if there's, like, someone better out there for what? them. What do you mean swap They either get married at the end, or they don't, or they... What do you they, mean swap partners? Well, you, you, give, your, you yeah. give your partner, I'm it's like, you, you they, they two years, you're like, I'm giving you ultimatum. Yeah, right. We're not married engaged. or not. In the meantime, while he's thinking it over you can date other people in the group well they're all <laughs> dating other people each yeah. one ah oh, both the issuer uh, and the but here's the problem in the beginning it's always fun and exciting yes. right and right. so you're just going to end up in the same place with a different person yes. right. Larry you want right. to watch the show I mean, no I already know <laughs> <laughs> what those people it. clearly don't know you yeah. sound interested I think we'd like to get your perspective <laughs> I think on so. it yeah all I'm right. only on episode three I'll wait for you to catch up but here let me say <laughs> one more bring thing the give it to him Larry yeah. you pull pull the ultimate him, but let me be the contrarian here. Okay. It's one thing to say, marry me or we're done. You know, it, I think it's fine to say, listen, we've been dating two years. What are we if doing we're here? sitting here another year from now, do we really need to be going up more? No, I mean, I think that's is, a nice way of doing it. If it's two years or whatever your yeah. it, mentally your time frame is, if yeah. they haven't proposed by then, I don't want to give someone an ultimatum and say, you better propose to me or right. I'm walking. Yeah. I mean, you should just walk. But it's maybe like they don't want but to. But maybe the other person's thinking, do they want me to propose? Do they mm. want... So that's Come why on. I you think know. That within two years of a relationship, yeah. you've probably at least talked about yeah. that, right? Ray? Yeah. Ray yeah. seems to have an opinion on this. Ray's... Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't tell if he's just generally complaining or he's trying to... Yeah. But from a man's perspective, if you're like 24 or you don't have any money, maybe you want to wait a little bit. But yeah. I can see saying from uh, a woman's perspective, like, what are we doing? Do we really need to go another year? Yeah. I mean, so I get that. Yeah. Would you want a woman problems? to say, yes. propose to me No, right not like that. Yeah. No, 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 no. And then bring you on a Netflix show? <laughs> Yeah. And let you date other women. <laughs> Boy, we could do a whole yeah. hour on we this. Uh, All right. It's like crossfire. <laughs> uh, number eight. Crossfire for idiots. For idiots. <laughs> That was right. the worst, yeah. Uh, worst. Number eight, uh, she sings about working nine to five, but Dolly Parton's day starts long uh, before that. Parton recently told a reporter she starts her day at 3 a.m. She says she does some of her best work then. That makes one of us. She doesn't require much sleep, never did. Yeah. She says it's a Parton family trait and that she goes to bed pretty early, but even when she stays up late, it's still 3 a.m. Dolly just turned 76. She credits her great skin to the fact that she never sunbathed when she was younger. And good eating Mexican pizzas from Taco Bell. Huh. Well, that I don't know if that's good eating. Mm. But hey, it's worked Works for her. For her. Yeah. Yo quiero Taco Bell. All right, number seven. A woman posted her baby's baby name Dilemma on social media. Her husband wants to name the child Theodore or Theodora after his late grandfather. They called to him or her Teddy. The woman says she understands the sentiment, but she can't do it. Their last name. Is oh, Bundy. God. Oh, come on. So the child's name 
It would, would be Ted be Bundy. Teddy Bundy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, that makes it sound nicer. I think, what if you went Theo? No. Theo yeah. Bundy. No, somebody's going to call him Teddy. That's going to yeah. be on your Mark school Morris. record, and yeah. that's going to follow you. Theo Bundy. No matter what, you got Bundy. You can't get rid of that. Well, well sure you could. I just did. call him out. Yeah. I had a news director wanted me to go by like Rock Lightning or something crazy <laughs> like that. I said no, but rock you could. Lightning? It was yeah. something huge ass. I don't know. It was something <laughs> like that. Anyway, people told her to stop worrying about it since Ted Bundy's crimes were back in the 70s. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, others thought she was justified in her. And reasoning. the school record when it's for, and, and the teacher reads it out for the first well, name. She would say Theodore Bundy. You don't know what they would say. You well, know? that's what it uh, would read. I don't think she'd just automatically give the I'm nickname, just saying, right? why even put that before Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it right? either, but. Yeah. All right, right, number six, Tom Brady just did it. More people are unretiring than ever before. The number of retirees heading back into the workforce is at a two-year high. Some are doing it for extra money, but others are simply bored being at home all the time. According to job scientists, they're looking for flexible part-time work. It's not so much about the pay as it is about the socialization and spending time with people, not to mention the early retirees who are fortunate to retire in the early 50s. They're bored and young enough to begin whole new careers if they want to or find a fun part-time job to occupy their time. Hmm. There you go. Number five, the most popular wedding movies in all 50 states. Mama Mia was the clear winner, topping the list in eight states. Really? Uh, Steel Magnolias, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, took second with six states. Bridesmaids was the most popular <laughs> in the Midwest, and Corpse Bride seems to be the favorite out west. Oh, yeah. Uh, number four, bring the volume. Designers like Marc Jacobs and Jason Wu are all about billowing ball gowns and ruffles for days. It's big, it's bold, and it's beautiful. And if you're attending a formal event this fall, then it's time to start embracing the trend. The only problem might be getting to the restroom easily, so do the old BAF method. Bring a friend or a sister <laughs> to help you in and out of your outfit. Uh, yeah, oversized is yeah. big again. What do you know? All right, number three. The green jacket, the original wearable trophy. The Masters winners have been getting the green jacket since 1949. Sam Snead was the first one to get one, and they could be worn anywhere for one year, like The Tonight Show or Wimbledon, as Sergio Garcia did a few years ago. After that, they can only be worn on the grounds of Augusta uh, National. I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. Uh, the one put on the champ at the ceremony is approximately his size. Uh -huh. He gets one custom tailored later on. Multiple winners like Tiger Woods only have one in their locker. It gets reused if they win again. There are conflicting origin stories. One says Bobby Jones was impressed by the matching jackets of British club captains. The other says co-founder Clifford Roberts wanted them for all members so they could be spotted to help answer patrons' questions during the Masters tournament. Hmm. There you go. All right. all right, number two. Did you know you've been cleaning your toilet brush all wrong? A TikTok influencer is sharing her hack to help your brush stay fresher longer before putting the toilet brush back into its holder. You rest it between the bowl and the lid so it can air dry and then put a little bleach into the brush holder to create extra freshness when you put the brush back. Oh. All right. Look at that. All right, number one, happy Monday. Enjoy this music video from 1988, Saxon Ride Like the Wind. Oh. Know this song, Larry? Well, you're gonna recognize it. Am I? Am I? Don't recognize it. I don't know. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Yes. It's a cover of yes. Christopher Cross? Yeah. Not bad. I mean, how are pocket watches these days? Yeah. How can you improve on Christopher Cross? You really can't. You really shouldn't even try, Robin. No. I mean, he had that beautiful uh, voice. I mean. Wow, I don't uh, even remember this. I don't know this uh, at all. Long way. Not bad, Such though. Such a long way. Wait, is it Christopher Cross? Yeah, yeah and yeah, Michael, Michael McDonald. McDonald. Uh, yeah. song, no. There was a federal what, law that Michael, Michael McDonald, McDonald was in the song had to sing on every song in the That's 80s. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. He was the backup of every uh, everything. Such yep. a long way. Yeah. yeah. Got a nice check for that. Oh, yeah. Love it. 
All right. Yeah. Love it. Keep now, me current. Now, did Christopher Cross and, and Michael McDonald have a video for this song? I don't know. Go look. Let me go Google that. All right, Larry. Uh, well, that's a 9 at 9. It's a 9 at 9.